Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris. I am a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. Dehydroepiandosterone sulfate, or DHEA, is a hormone that is secreted from the adrenal glands. For many years, supplement companies have been pushing the use of synthetic DHEA supplements, usually made from yams, to reverse aging, boost immunity, cognitive function, and muscle strength. It has recently gained popularity as a treatment to improve ovarian responsiveness to fertility medications in poor responders. Selling DHEA is now a $300 million a year industry. DHEA was actually banned by the US FDA in 1996, but supplement companies got around this by selling it as a supplement rather than a medication. Supplements do not have to prove that they work or that they are free of complications. Studies showing its effectiveness for fertility have been criticized by the scientific community for their improper design and low quality of evidence. In fact, the only high quality studies of DHEA for fertility have completely failed to find any benefit. Side effects of DHEA in women include acne, unwanted hair growth, and deepening of the voice. So should you use DHEA if you have infertility? Until well-designed studies show a benefit, the answer is no. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. If you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV, let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at ivf1.com.